Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and we are playing Sunhaven today. And you might be asking yourself, hey, why is he at the main menu? Did he lose his save file? No, don't worry. We still got our save file here. But I want to actually dive into the options real quick because somebody told me that we can, yep, here it is. We can um, increase the amount of time it takes in the real world for a day to pass. So we've got day speed here. Currently, it looks like the default is 20 minutes. I kind of like to bump that up a little bit. Oh, the oh, okay. So I need to go this way. 13 minutes day speed. So this means it's going to take 30 minutes. The day will last 30 minutes. Um, pause during dialogue. Skip tutorials. Yeah. So that's good to go. Um, I'm going to try that. Because, I mean, 20 minutes to 30 minutes, it doesn't seem like a lot. But we're going to be able to get a lot of extra stuff done, you know, before it's too late. And I had kind of felt like, oh, you know, I don't have enough time during the day to get all that I want done. So, I'm really glad for that comment. Thank you very much. The uh, specific commenter has left me a lot of good tips. So, we're going to go through and use a lot of those today. So, let me get things loaded up real quick and I'll see you guys in one second. Okay, here we are inside our little college, we our cottage, and I've got the book here. I forgot about that. I'll have to put a, start a collection or something. Um, we got the honey. Let's jump outside real quick. I can uh, start putting some stuff away in my newly placed chests. You know, and after considering things, um, once we get out here, I'll discuss it. Oh, wait. Dang it, it's pretty late. I need to go to bed. But I was going to say, I don't know if I'm like really in love with the placement of these chests. I think the location is good, but what I kind of want to do is spread them out a bit. So I'm going to like, is there anything in this one? Hey, my, my hotkey has been reset. Are you kidding me? Why did that happen? Um, so yeah, no. So what I kind of want to do is... Okay, let's put this guy... I'm going to pass out again, aren't I? No, I'm not going to let that happen. So I want to kind of skip a spot like this. That looks perfect. Awesome. So now you can kind of see what I'm saying. I'll take this one out and this one. And I might do like two rows. I don't know. I'm still kind of working on things. So, you know, it's not perfect. And eventually it might get changed as well. But <laughs> it's time to go to bed, guys. I didn't even realize it wasn't even paying attention. So let's do this. I'm also going to go back into my hotkeys, uh, apparently, and change that. For whatever reason, I like the F button instead of E. For the interact this is my personal preference obviously um but let's see i don't i set that it just maybe there was an update i think there was an update so that might have reset it anyway i'm gonna spend a little time watering the plants and i'm gonna reset my hotkey and i'll be right back okay well i noticed over here after i was filling up my watering can that i've got a letter i'm writing this to afford to notice two things first off you've been taking off into the forest a lot these days. Second, the local monster population has been significantly lower. I wonder if those two things are related. Uh, you're doing good work out there and it's showing. Just remember to make sure you're upgrading your gear regularly, if you haven't already. A good sword makes your life easier. Plus, they look great with any outfit. <laughs> Trust me on that, Rosa. How nice, Rosa. Oh, an iron bar. That's pretty huge, actually. Iron's pretty scarce right now. We haven't really made it. In, as far in the mines as I'd like to. So we're not really at the, the mining level. But, um, you know, another thing I need to do just in terms of placement here is if, if I'm going to have all my chests over there, I need to really move some of these things. But that's okay. I obviously, I did move a couple. So the important ones are down here. And in fact, I think, yeah, this chest has our iron and stuff in it. Let's plop that guy in there. Look how much copper ore I've got. Hold on a second. I might have to grab some wood real quick. Yeah, look at this. I've got tons of copper ore from... I forgot. We just got back from the mines, essentially, on the last episode. I haven't done a thing since then, so I've got to... Yeah, I need to go ahead and knock down some trees here real quick, or else we won't be able to smelt that beautiful copper up. And yes, I haven't forgotten. We are going to spend those copper bars on keys. So let me clear a few trees, and I'll be right back. Well, 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 I was chopping trees and I got an exploration point here. So, and also we've got opened up the fifth tier. So let's read these. Architect increases movement speed while traveling over paths placed on your farm. Huh. 
That's interesting. So we could probably end up going like really fast throughout the farm and stuff. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, eth ethereal Axe. Unlock the Ethereal Axe spell. Summons a giant magical axe that swings in a large arc in front of you. I costs no cooldown. Wow. I think that I think we might know what we're putting our points in, but let's look at the last organic increase. Oh wow, increases the sell price of all fruits. I love those straightforward to the point, real simple to understand. That's right up my alley. Appreciation grants a gold each day for every heart you have with romanceable characters. Max a thousand gold per day. Damn. You got to be a real like uh Romeo to get up to that level of coinage. But um Ethereal Axe. Let's do it, baby. Now, how do I do that? Oh, here we go. You learn to spell. Left-click the spell circle over your hotkey bar to view learned spells, then left-click a spell to equip it and press Q to use it. Hold on. Okay, where is it? Here it is. Bingo, bango. Just figured it out. <laughs> okay, so it's almost like... Let me see here. So I can be slashing this and then pop my Q button. Oh, is it, no, it's on cooldown, right? No, it has no cooldown, it said. No, you can't be swinging and doing it, so you gotta be like... Wait, it's not working. Oh, I probably don't have the mana for it. Duh. Okay, so this costs 40. Yeah, I just didn't have the mana. I need to increase my pool. Oh, and that reminds me of one other tip. The Well, another tip that the commenter left for me, and that is the Dragon Fountain in town actually provides like a mana boost every week, a permanent one, and I've been missing it. So we've got to get over there right now. Let's see, it's Thursday. So we're, you know, about halfway through the week on this one. We, we get it this time, and we will try and get it from now on every week after this. So I don't know. F touch the water. Plus four mana. There it is. Right there. Boom. Nice. Okay, so we get up high enough, I'll be able to cast this axe spell a lot more often and stuff, you know. And, of course, the only other spell I have right now is my little jumping dash spell. But, to be honest, I use that constantly. So, I should be focused on mana a little bit more. Even though we are primarily melee, I think, is kind of the route we're going. Uh, let's see here. What do, what do we got going on over here? We've missed all birthdays, but I don't care. Lantern Festival, Sal Salon's favorite here. One eel. Mm, I don't think we have any eels, bud. Three wedges of cheese, also above above my pay grade on that one. Let's see, it is day 26. Yeah, we're not buying any seeds right now. We've only got a couple days left, so... The wheat that we have is going to be it. I'm still not 100% sure on how the seasonal change works if like if i have crops held over and stuff you know maybe i should test it yeah let's actually go buy some extra wheat i'm gonna plant some now and we'll test that to see if there is so we've got two days that's perfect because any wheat we buy now will be grown in the summer I mean, will it be harvestable in the summer if it's not destroyed or something Okay, so I'm just going to buy five. Not a huge amount, just testing. Just a test. Okay, well I've got the uh, the crops are in the ground over here. So this is going to be our test crop here, this little strip. Obviously these crops, I think these will be ready tomorrow. Two days, okay. Yeah, yeah. So those those were planned ahead of time to end, right, with the, the changing of the season. Now here's another test I want to do. See this spider web? Normally I would use my a little scythe on it to collect it but i want to see will it collect automatically if i knock this tree down it did i just picked up the silk okay cool so i wasn't sure now i can know i just go up and chop the trees down i don't have to worry about collecting the silk first okay here we go this is what i'm talking about let's do all of them um what am i short here okay there we go so we've got 14 copper bars coming that's going to be a heck of a lot of keys so i'm pretty excited about that let's go ahead and top off our chest i can put all this stuff away right now i don't know if we're going to go back to the mines i really don't know what i want to do here but um i'm just having such a great time playing around on the farm and stuff you know it's pretty entertaining here i've also really got to get my chests uh figured out now i got another commenter here let's see which chest is this telling me that you can change the color and stuff and i didn't even notice that so there is a little preview of what the chest looks like 
we'll do, let me see here, where is this chest located? So I really should position them the way I want them, you know, as I said, with the uh, a little bit of spacing between them. Oh, there must be stuff in this one. Yep, there's some scarecrows. All right, we'll grab that. You know, and I was thinking too, I don't know if this is, if it's really necessary to have like a full length of space between them. It's a little bit much, you know what I'm saying? The reason I want spacing is so that I can just easily access the right one. So there's not crossover when I'm kind of like close between two of them. But um, yeah, let me get that sorted out real quick. Oh my boy, oh gosh, let me tell you here, uh, having this extra time in the day is incredible. It really is. It makes such a difference and I love it. All right, so I've been able to do a lot of different stuff on the farm, just basically collecting wood. As you can see, I did lay out some chests. Um, I took a break here though, because I'm going to move some more around. Um, but I took a break to get some wood because I want to construct some more chests actually. So we've got those going. I've got the planks. Let's get a couple. Is that all I have? Dang. All right, now I need more planks. Gosh, planks are like the big bottleneck for everything, you know? All right, so we'll let that work. I did end up with one, right? Whoops, brought up the chat menu. Um, let's see, what is this? Dragon Fang? Where the heck did I get this? Oh, it's another museum piece. Um, that was another tip somebody gave me. They said the museum is in the upper story of the library. So we should probably head over there tomorrow. It's getting a little late in the day, so I don't want to mess with it. There it is. There's my chest. Yeah, but we will do that. Um, let's see here. We will pay a visit. There's something back here, and I think it's either part of the house, but it's weird because I can go down and around it. I've hit it with, tried to hit it with every single thing I have here. Oh, it is... Oh, okay, it was a dandelion thing. I swear I tried to scythe it down. No, it's still there. I don't know. Okay, I'm crazy. I wish I had just put this house a little bit closer to the edge here. That's okay. We're learning. We're still figuring out how this game works. So, all right, I've got the chest. Now, basically, I've color-coded color these here for the different seasons. So this yellow one is spring, red is summer, pink is fall, and then the blue is winter. And that'll help me remember it. I know some, some of you might not agree with my color choices, but uh, that's just will help me remember. All right, I think I'll go ahead and put the stuff in here for now just to kind of clear out my inventory. Yeah, let's see, we've got, I love how much room they do give you with your inventory. Such a big difference from the good old Stardew. That, combined with the fact that you don't have a stamina bar to worry about, really, really sets this game apart in good ways, you know? Not to disparage Stardew Valley in any way, it's just it was a little bit inconvenient. Part of the challenge, too, I think, but this game has got, I think part of the challenge here is just knowing what, not to get overwhelmed, knowing what to do, but it's really great. All right, so let's see here. We're very, we're still working. Yeah, yeah, this stuff takes forever, but that's okay. It's the last one. So let's see how many keys we can get started here. Okay, the last bar won't get us an extra key, but that's good. How many, I didn't even notice. How many did I just order up? Six. Dude, that's going to get us uh, to level seven. As soon as we enter the mines now, we'll be starting in level seven, baby. That's pretty huge. All right, so we'll get that taken care of eventually let's see i've still got other stuff so give me some time i'm going to sort out my inventory a little bit more but uh tomorrow i promise we will be going into town visiting the museum and uh, i don't know maybe even the mines to open up some levels oh boy everybody it is the last day of spring that means it is the lantern festival today um we've still got a little bit of crops to harvest of course we've got our test crops so we'll find out about those in a few days we'll actually probably tomorrow um, spring year one. I wonder if at some point we can buy our own calendar and look at it here on the farm, you know, kind of the way you can do. I believe you can do that in Stardew Valley. Um, okay, so I'm going to do some watering. I've got a little bit of wood sitting up there in the crafting table. That's another thing I've figured is I need to move that table closer. I think I'm going to put it on this side of the barn or the house right here. Um, yeah, you know, men the mentioning the barn there by accident leads me to another good point. I got a, a great tip 
about the animals. You don't even need a barn for animals. All you need is a fence to keep them fenced in um, and some sort of feeding device, or I guess you can feed them manually. But if you just set up a fence in a spot, you can buy animals. The barn itself is just for expanding how many animals you can have on your farm. So we could literally have some chickens probably right now. Um, in fact, I'd be stupid not to do that soon. Let's see here. Uh, let's check our letter real quick. Thank you for participating. Oh, that's the seeds. Yes, yes, yes. We'll take those. Thank you. Obviously, we're going to hold off, plant those tomorrow probably. And let's see here. Did I get my wood? No, not yet. All right, grab that. Now, I picked that up for a specific reason. I want to make this seed maker right here. Yeah. Do we have the construction table yet? for building houses and barns. No, I don't think we do. I should probably go ahead and just make it. Uh, let's get that. Yeah, we have the basic furniture. We don't have this. Oh, crap, I'm out. Wait, I'm out of wood. Oh, don't have enough. That's okay, though. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'll just put my stuff away. This, by the way, is my fishing chest here. So I put that kind of by the house once we start doing some cooking. I think that'll be helpful. This is just basically my food bin i'm throwing all my foods in here for now of course you've seen that the spring and summer and fall and chests but down here i've decided to put the uh, wood and metal and stuff this is kind of closer to the anvil so it was a bit more convenient so you can see i'm spreading my chest out a little bit i think that'll be helpful but uh, anyway, uh, we had decided to do a little bit of stuff. Oh, look. No, no. It says Lantern Festival's tomorrow. Okay. Good, good, good. I got a little ahead of myself there. Sorry about that. But uh, we do have a few things to do. So I've got plenty of keys for the mine. And I've got a bunch of junk to give to the, to the museum. So I'd like to do that for sure. Um, I've kind of got some clutter here in the inventory like this and the, the honey I probably don't need. But in case we go to the mines, I'm thinking, but it's okay. I'm not worried about space, honestly. And if we do find a way to donate all this junk in my inventory, that's going to help clear up a lot of area too. All right, let me head to the library real quick. Okay, I must be dumb because I misread the comment because uh, the, the museum's not on the second floor. It's just above it. When they said above it, I assumed they meant like on the second story. But now it's just located north of it. Here it is. How did I miss that? Is it not? I swear there's not a, a, like an entry for it here, though. Cause these are, are these in elf? Yeah, there it is right at the very bottom. Okay, yep. I'm just dumb. I didn't see it. Unobservant. All right, let's enter. Nice, 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 nice. This place is awesome. Oh, we get a little cutscene. Wow, such a fabulous museum. But wait, it looks like those two gentlemen are having a serious discussion. All right, officiator artus. I'm sorry, but the building is quite impressive. I give you that. But you simply can't join the association if your museum has no artifacts to display. I, but, well, if you just agree to give me a little more time. Look, I know you're trying hard. Fill this place up with things worth looking at, and you can have another shot. All right? And he walks out. Covington. Covington's not going to be happy. Let's talk to him. Let's talk to his beautiful face. Why is this museum... Why, this is the Museum of Sunhaven. I founded this institute to collect and display the natural wonders one can find about Sunhaven and its surrounding lands. The one issue with this, however, is that currently our stock of displays is, well, rather sparse. I think it looks good in here. You got the tree growing inside. But one should not worry about that, for, for soon I shall have our fine museum outfitted with the grandest display of curiosities. What, what? All right, do you need any help? Help! Help! Why, help would be lovely, actually. The museum is always accepting donations. If you've got anything to contribute, we will happily ensure it has a proper place among the collections. Uh, we're in the market for all sorts of natural wonders. Come to mention it, you do look like the adventurous and capable type, after all. Just the type of person we need. 
If I have it right, I shall commission you as a member. You'll have access to the museum proper and can see for yourself what we still need to collect and display. Let's do it. Tally-ho, that's the spirit I like to see. Now raise your right arm and repeat these words after me. The curator has you repeat a very long and exhaustive pledge of allegiance to the proper and ethical collection of artifacts. Despite its length, he maintains a stout passion throughout the entire ordeal. I gotta say, this is very well written dialogue and text here. Finally, the pledge is finished and he allows you to put your arm down. Is that it? That's it, old bean. You are now an official member of the Sunhaven Museum Society. Welcome aboard. And all this just because I forgot to lock the front door. <laughs> I imagine fate working like that. Your membership status grants you full access to the museum. Take a look around. Should you ever have anything we need, we still need, simply place it on our empty display. Not to worry. Myself or another curator will take care of it from there. There are other curators? Haha, <laughs> did you think I was the only one here, chap? Go on, I simply cannot wait to meet them. All right, I'll get going, let's see. I hope they don't talk as silly as you do. I can't say that. Oh, Covington's a fine gentleman. So after he gave me all that, all those introductions, I still have no idea what to do with all this crap I have on me. Uh, the Hall of Gems, wait, okay, so I've got fairy wings pumice stone i've got ran just random crap here a unicorn hair tuft like it's just random so what do i do with it <laughs> let me look around here see if i can't figure it out we probably need to go in these rooms all right let's jump in the first one the hall of gems or whatever here we are okay oh here we go cutscene help what was that noise Oh dear, is someone there? I'm buried under a pile of rocks. Could you help me? If it's not too much trouble, maybe? Whoa, hold on, I'll help you. Alright, let's go rescue her. Do we need our pick? We probably need our trusty iron pick. F. Darn it. Just hit F. Alright. Oh my, thank you so much for helping me. I didn't think anyone could hear my calls for help. Don't mention it. I suppose I owe you for saving me. I could be could have been trapped under there for who knows how long. The others don't often visit this wing of the museum. Why don't they? Oh, um, well, because our geology wing is a little empty right now. I have lots of samples to sort through, but we're missing good samples from here in Sunhaven. Maybe I can help. What kind of rocks do you need? Really? Well, if you really mean that, then you can see what samples we're currently looking for by examining the plinths around the room. You can find samples inside the mines of Sunhaven. If you have anything you'd like to donate, just place it on the plinth. I can handle everything from there. All right. Do, do, do. Now, that's a bit arduous, though. How do I... Oh, okay. So that's just the general bars. What is this one? Gems. I, sh I probably have at least the sapphire. I have tons of sapphires. Oh, I have a black diamond. Okay. Um, then the qu my question is, though, what about these, like, weird things? It's obviously not in this room. So let me talk to her again. Just see what she says. I'm not going to read all this real quick, but um, there we go. I was also told that we can continually increase our social by talking to people each week or each day actually um going and speaking to new people you don't have to give them gifts just talk to them uh, and that's a good thing but i probably still won't do it <laughs> uh it's just you know social is like it's just one too many things right now but i will focus on it i promise in the future we'll get romance and all that good stuff going maybe maybe some family i don't know uh let's see here covington Let's see here. Winter crops. Oh, boy. Okay, so I'm going to go... Wait. That just has crops, right? Yeah, this is all growable stuff. It was so colorful at first. I was like, maybe there's something there. Let me go through. Like I said, this is going to be a little arduous going through. I wish there was just one complete list, but that's okay. It's part of the fun, right? Let me see if I can't locate the proper plinths. Okay, so I located the Exploration Bundle, and that seems to have at least well, several of these items here. Boom. Fairy Wings. 
I got three fairy wings? What do I do with those? I guess we just sell them. Um, pumice stone. Yep, there it is. All right, that was every one of them. So basically, I've been getting this stuff by chopping trees. Is how uh, that's at least that's how I got the unicorn. I know for sure because I saw that drop. These other ones, I'm pretty sure that's probably how I got them too. Considering they're all here in the exploration thing. Um, I guess we'll just sell the fairy wings. I mean, they're not worth much, but I also feel like I should probably save them for something. I just wonder if they have any crafting purpose whatsoever. Interesting, though. So that's it. We're about halfway done with the exploration bundle, and that was everything I've got. So I think it's off to the mines to use these keys up here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, well, earlier I was wrong when I said that we were going to reach, like, the 6th or 7th level or whatever, because um, I had miscounted, I forgot, that um, I had already used a couple of keys. So we are actually on the ninth level here of the mines, which is pretty huge. Yeah, but that's the last key right there that I just used. So we are now... Oh, God, we have to do some platforming. All right, I just have to remember oh, not to dash like that. Oh, maybe I should in some instances here. All right, there we go. I did bring a little food with me, so it's not the end of the world if we lose some health here. Plus, I do have a regen over time ability with this character. That's part of his racial perk. But uh, let's see... It's an interesting little spot, but it looks like a dead end. So I'm definitely going to have to go back through the lava. Yeah, there's not much else there, is there? Let's see here. I was really hoping to start seeing some iron show up, but I don't even know what like actual iron nodes look like, to be honest. I think all the iron I've gotten up to this point has just been like special. <laughs> just like it just dropped off something else. Oh, crap. I can't, I can't land here. I have to find the, the proper place to Im to get onto the land. Let's see, this isn't too hard though. Once you get the hang of it, it's really not bad. Yeah, you just don't want to be double jumping too much. All right, how do I get over here though? Wait a second, I'm confused now. This is some sort of puzzle. Uh, it's got me stumped. Maybe there's like a trick to it. Yeah, I can't, I can't jump. Huh, that's interesting. Because there's obviously, this is the spot to be. There's a fire crystal over there and stuff. Hold on, let's try again. Yeah, well, how do we get down here? See, you can't. Oh, wow, I'm confused. Oh, I think that's an iron node right there. Oh, there, okay. So sometimes you just can't see them. That's unfortunate. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can just jump onto any point. I'm not sure. Hold on. I really want to see what this is. Iron. Nice. Okay, we have located the mother load here. Look at that. And of course... Oh, nice. And of course our ability grants us like a potential double dose there. Alright, let's actually go in and place that point here because it's going to be important. Uh, two of three rich deposits. Yeah, that's what I want right there. I was just talking about it. So, I need to find the location. To, oh, I think I see it. It's right here. Oh, I just need to be more observant. That's all that is. Whoa, oh, whoops. Yep, there it is right there. Yeah, okay. So, I think my eyes are getting a little bit more accustomed to, like, what these what these little spots look like. So, that'll, that'll be helpful in the future. Be able to kind of pick them out a little bit easier. All right, well, that actually does it for this level here, and that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Unfortunately, we have reached our time for the day. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody, here on this playthrough. If you're enjoying the content, hit like and subscribe for me. It really helps out the channel, and I appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and now check out this fan art by a couple of my Discord members, Finn and Vita. It's pretty good, and I love the cuttlefish.